everyone, Tony here for mebikechoices.com. Today I'm going to be looking at the Michael Compact Folding Electric Bike, which was sent to me last week. I've, um, I've done a few miles on it just to see what it's like. It's, um, it's not a bad little bike actually, it's, um, it's fairly cheap, it's about £995, uses a 36 volt 6.4 amp hour battery, which uses LG cells mounted in the seat post. Yeah, it's not a bad little bike at all really for the money now i've probably done about seven or eight miles on it so far and it's it's a nice little e-bike it's got a very nice smooth quiet motor it uses a cadence based pedal assist it's not particularly great on the hills i do live in a very hilly area i live down in cornwall which is in the southwest um very very hilly terrain down here so it's, it's kind of outside the, the bike is kind of marketed as an urban folding electric bike and i actually live sort of out in the country I live in a very hilly area it does struggle with the hills but on the flats and we don't get many around here but on the on the flats it pops along quite nicely um, now as far as range is concerned I, I took it out the other day like I, said, I probably did about a six mile loop very very hilly and you know I, I have two bars left on the battery once I got back now, they do claim a range of about 30 kilometers which is um, about 20 miles and I, I think that's probably about right. I think obviously if you if you're a lighter rider, you're not relying on the assist so much, you may get a little bit more than that. But I think I think 30 kilometers is, is a fair is a fair kind of range estimate. Um, the motor is a 250 watt rear hub motor. It's uh, it's a geared hub motor, so it makes a little bit of a whine, but it's it's not too noisy. It's very it's actually very smooth in operation. The gearing system is Shimano Tawny seven speed with a I believe it's a 14 to 28. Um, rear free wheel with a front, obviously a single front chain ring and a micro shift seven speed shifter the shifter works absolutely fantastically it's actually a really nice shifter it works really well gear changes are nice and precise um, another thing I like about the Michael compact is it uses mechanical disc brakes but the brakes actually work really really well I mean I'm used to mechanical disc brakes making a bit of a racket not being too effective at stopping these brakes actually are surprisingly effective um, you know uh, at slowing me down I'm a big lad as you can see going down a steep descent one thing I really like about it is turned up assembled ready to ride basically it was just a case of charging the battery up and away you go the Michael itself you know it's uh it's actually a really really nice little bike lovely color scheme really nicely finished off it was a nice sort of brown leather, leather handle grips nice brown saddle cream gumball tyres which look really really nice yeah I'm, I'm i'm really impressed with this bike the quality's there it's affordable it comes in at under a thousand pounds so i think that's a fair price 995 pounds it, it certainly puts it in competition with a lot of the um chinese e-bikes the spec may not be quite as good you know the um the batteries have a lower capacity but in my opinion there's a trade-off you know if you want a bike that's, that's coming from a uk-based company you're going to have uk-based customer support um I've only heard good things about Michael so far. They've got a nice range of e-bikes, and um, I think it's good that a UK brand are getting in on the action, doing quite well. So anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump on the uh, on the Michael Compact, take it for a little spin. Um, it's going to be a short ride, and then I'll um, yeah wrap it all up. Right, here we go. What about? I've got it in level five at the moment. It's uh, like I said it. You do really need it in the highest level of assist when you're going up hills. And at the moment, I'm on a, a hill which goes on for about a mile or so. It's not a particularly steep hill, but it's probably about 250 feet of elevation over a mile. 4% sort of average gradient. kind of um it's all right for around here where it's hilly i suppose if you're living in a city you know by the time you get to the assist level which is fairly quick the assist cuts off at 15 miles an hour in line with the uk and eu pedelec, pedelec laws so it cuts out at 15 miles an hour or 15 and a half miles an hour to be exact 25 kilometers an hour so now we're getting up to a slightly steeper bit 
I'm going to start huffing and puffing now because you, you know you still have to put in a this is the main difference between a hub motor and a mid drive if I was on a mid drive motor I'd be going up here without any effort at all or very little effort with a small hub motor on a hill you do have to still put a fair bit of effort in but yeah it's getting me up here one more thing I like about this bike is it's um it's not very heavy not for a folding e-bike you know most of the folding e-bikes I test tend to weigh in the low 20s this comes in at about 17 and a half kilos I've actually weighed it with my own scales so it's actually manageable it's a manageable weight for most people it folds down nice and quickly to a nice, a nice compact size hence the name and I certainly wouldn't have any problem taking it on a bus train or just pop it in the back of a car if you lived in a flat maybe up some stairs See, this is this is quite a steep bit with going up at the moment probably about 10 percent and it's it's getting me up here i'm still having to put a fair bit of effort in so yeah if you're after a, if you're in the uk you after a cheap and cheerful folding e-bike I'd recommend the Michael Compact I think it's a good little bike it's um has a nice build quality it came fully set up and ready to ride assembled here in the UK with UK based customer service and on top of that all it comes in it's just under a thousand pounds so it's, it's, it's affordable not bothered about going too far on a single charge then I would say the Michael Compact is an ideal folding e-bike one more thing um, because it's so light I'm, and it uses a geared hub mode I did actually ride it for a short while without any assist and it's perfectly fine it just feels like a rather heavy sort of bike so you know even if you did find yourself running out of battery power and you didn't have a charger with you, you can certainly pedal it home without too much problem. Anyway, hope you liked the review guys, and um, I'm gonna wrap this up now. Check out my article on ebikechoices.com, I've put a link below. And if you like this content, please like and subscribe. I'm in the process of growing my YouTube channel. I've got about another five or six bikes to review at the moment. They're all lining up, lining up. so I'll be doing more videos, uh, a bit more in depth than this one. Right, see you later, guys.